Hi everyone, James here, back with another look inside the box review. This is the RS Models Avro Rotor C30 Auto Gyro. And there's a, a nice, clear side profile of the Auto Gyro. And around the box, there is uh, some safety instructions, the website of RS Models. The scale. The other side are some other kits in the range. There's two more auto gyros here. On the back is the cutter schemes. You get four options. One's Great Britain, Yugoslavia, Czechoslovakia and Norway. Then have a look inside the box. Just get one bag with one sprue sheet. One sprue sheet, the instruction folds up out into A4, I think it is. Might be a little smaller decal sheet and the, the clear parts on I'm going to say it's plastic or not there's a certain word for it start off with the, the sprue sheet all the plastic is nicely moulded there's no flash there is some nice uh, cockpit side moulding detail here Fuselage halves, the the engine and the prop that goes onto the front of the auto gyro. Have some that's the engine exhaust manifold. It's control surfaces, two wheel options, some seats, the cockpit component parts, the auto gyro blades themselves here. Some landing gear struts, more engine parts. So that's the plastic parts. Moving on to the decals. They're in good register. Decals line up, there's no mismatch or print of them. They're thin, they're a bit on the shiny side. Not sure, four options there. And then the the clear plastic sheet. Again, it's clear. There isn't no mismatching uh, the border for the frame for the clear parts. So you wouldn't really need to do any painting of this one as it's already printed there for you. Lastly, the instructions. On top, there is some brief history of it. The picture of the box itself. Some colour suggestions and the the sprue plan down below here. And over the page, steps one is adding the cockpit floor, the seats, instrument panels, the front bulkhead and tail wheel and then immediately sealing the two halves together. Step three, two sorry, is adding the rear control surfaces 
and the landing gear and there's a front view of how it should look there is an option down here suggesting parts uh, number 5 or 20 should only be used on the 1 or 2 uh, scheme uh, then steps 3 is adding the auto gyro part of it on top of the front cockpit section here and also adding the clear parts for the <coughs> the visors and then steps four is adding the auto gyro blades and the engine as a sub-assembly to build the engine first and then place it afterwards over the page the last uh, so there's only four build steps but step five is the same markings but there is no markings just the illustration of the the aircraft the colour guide and the decal guide is actually on the box so that is the Avro Rotor C30 Auto Gyro thanks for watching